in this problem here we are going to take the derivative of f I've got a quotient going on so I'm going to use the quotient rule and if you are not sure about the quotient rule uh, for finding a derivative look that up somewhere all right I'm going to consider my entire numerator e to the 8x as f and my entire denominator e to the negative x uh, plus 8 as my g all right uh, before I do that though here's a quick recap of something that you should know and that is the derivative with respect to x of e to the x one of the neatest functions in calculus all right the derivative of e to the x is itself e to the x right, so keep that in mind as we take the derivative of this uh, quotient over here all right so the quotient rule says all right quotient rule says give me the derivative of the numerator right, give me the derivative of the numerator i'm going to use the chain rule on this the chain rule says give me the derivative of e to some stuff which again e to some stuff is just e to that stuff right? but that's okay so that's the derivative of the outer now give me the derivative of the inner which is just the exponent the derivative of just the exponent 8x is simply just an 8 right? so I'll put that in, out front okay? so there's my f prime for quotient rule times g okay so I gotta multiply it by this denominator here e to the negative x plus 8 minus f which is my numerator e to the 8x right, times the derivative of my denominator times g prime here well the derivative of 8 is just 0 so you can ignore that and the derivative of e to the negative x I hope you see is negative e to the negative x right so I just invoked the chain rule there again what I just did was I covered this up for a second I said alright what's the derivative of e to some stuff well derivative of e to some stuff is e to that stuff now then I went up into that numerator and to the exponent rather and I said hey what's the derivative of negative x well the derivative of negative x is just negative one I'm not writing the one here but do you see the negative sign right there okay quotient rule finishes off by saying all of this is over g squared right all of this is over my denominator squared so I'll just write it once quantity squared like that okay well we can shrink this down a little bit here we can shrink this down in that I hope you see I've got some stuff out front here times two different terms do you see that times two different terms here okay I also have a little bit of a product here I can take care of this is um, kind of a distributive property in in a sense but it's only just two things being multiplied and that's it all right this is definitely a distributive property here so let me clean up that numerator a little bit more let me slide this up okay um, let's take care of this uh, this multiplication this product here first right so I've got 8 e to the 8x times e to the negative x well there's really a 1 sitting in front of this e so I can see this as 8 times 1 which is just 8 and now do you see that I'm trying to multiply these two things here but the bases are the same and when the bases are the same we simply add the exponents All right. so the rule says 8x added to negative 1x is a positive 7x so I'm just going to keep the same base and write it as 7x All right. let's distribute again here I've got 8 e to the 8x times 8 well that's just simply 64 e to the 8x okay let's keep going here uh, let's see let's multiply these two things together first of all a negative times a negative is a positive so I'll just put plus there um, and again I'm trying to multiply two bases that are exactly the same so I can just simply add up their exponents so I've got 8x added to negative x is a positive 7x so I've got e to the positive 7x right and this is all over my quantity of e to the negative x plus 8 squared all right now do you notice one more thing these two terms right here right, I'll point them out to you these two terms right here are alike right these are what we call in algebra we call these like terms why what makes them alike well they're alike because they have the same base do you see that they both have an e to the 7x now it's easy to see the coefficient in front of this term is an 8 but do you see the coefficient in front of that term is really just a 1 even though you don't see one so we could add these two up together and we come up with the final answer of right 8 e to the 7x plus 1 e to the 7x is 9 e to the 7x.
Right, here's my plus 64 e to the 8x all over this denominator e to the negative x plus 8 quantity squared. Final answer. It's as far as I can go, as far as I'm going to go with that one. Hope that helps.